ArrayStar's Gene Ontology View aids in determining the biological significance of a gene selection. Start by downloading annotations using the Project Setup Wizard or the Data Download Annotations command. Video instructions and written tutorials for doing this are available on our website. For this video, I'm using Go Annotations. Next, I'll classify and group genes of interest by identifying their ontology terms related to Go biological processes. To do this, I'll use the Filter, Filter All command. After filtering, I'll select the results in all views. Next, I'll go to the Data menu and choose Show Gene Ontology. The left section of the Gene Ontology view displays the terms and statistics for the designated annotation field. Ontology terms are displayed as a hierarchical tree with expandable branches. I can click on any column header to sort the tree by that column. Here, I'll sort the terms by increasing p-value. The p-value represents the probability that the number of genes currently selected for the term occurred by chance. In general, the lower the p-value, the greater the likelihood that the term is significant. A wide variety of tool icons are available in this view. Hover over any tool to view a description of what it does. Most of these functions are also available by right-clicking on any term. I can hover over a Go term to view its full name, ID, and description. Or, I can double-click on a term to select all of the genes in the project that are annotated with that term. The bottom section of the pane, the Details panel, displays the number of genes in the current gene selection. The Gene Ontology Info pane on the right of the view allows me to control the content shown in the view and lets me navigate to the most significant terms. I can use the menus in the top section to select a different Go process, or to hide terms with less significant p-values. I can use the Criteria field to select the criterion that will be used to determine which terms are the most significant. Three types of graphs are available. I can hover over any part of these graphs to view which term is represented. 